launches, launches, and more launches on your space pod for June 21st, 2010. There are a few launches from this last week that we've not yet covered, so let's take a look. First up, we have the Chinese Xijiang-12 research satellite that was launched aboard the Long March 2D. Now, there's not a whole lot of footage from this, but here's what we could find. Now, not a lot is known about the Xijiang or Practice 12 satellite other than it's a research bird. The launch took place at 131 UTC from the Zhihuan Satellite Launch Center on June 14, 2010, and please forgive my pronunciations. Next up, we have Prisma and Picard launched aboard Depner, Dnieper, Dnieper, which is an I decommissioned ICBM. Спутников из Франции, Швеции и Украины. Два навигационных и один научный для изучения Солнца. Запуск также прошел в штатном режиме, но полет продлился ровно 600 секунд. Надо сказать, что этот пуск в очередной раз подтвердил бы и готовность ракетных войск стратегического назначения. Днепр создан на базе межконтинентальной баллистической ракеты РС-20 Воевода, самый мощный в мире, способный донести сразу 10 ядерных боеголовок в любую точку земного шара. В картотеке НАТО она значит the Prisma demonstration mission is a Swedish payload that will test new, inexpensive technologies for rendezvous in space. Now, the Picard payload is a French satellite that will be studying the sun. And there are four lights! See what I did there? A little Star Trek? Never mind. This launch took place on June 15th at 1442 Coordinated Universal Time from Russia. And who could forget the human space flight that also happened June 15th at 2135 Coordinated Universal Time with Expedition 2425 aboard a Soyuz rocket from the Baikonur Cosmodrome. We've got main engine start. Five, four, three, two, one. And ignition. And liftoff. Liftoff of the Soyuz rocket. Shannon Walker, Fyodor Yurchik, and Doug Relock begin their journey on the 100th launch on behalf of the International Space Station. Parking out over the Kazakhstan skies, the Soyuz vehicle, good pitch program according to the flight controllers. Good first stage performance, the Soyuz delivering 102 tons of thrust from its four boosters and single engine. And why is it that Russia can have a camera inside the spacecraft, but NASA can't? The crew is already docked with the ISS, and for those who like to know about the firsts, this will be the first time station has seen two women on a long-duration mission, although not the first time two women were on the station itself. And finally, we have another Dnieper, Depner, Dnieper, they're missing a vowel on that thing. This one had no sound, but it was cool nonetheless. Another ICBM from the Baikonur Cosodrome that launched at 2.14 Courtney Universal Time on June 21st. The payload on this rocket is Tandem X, which stands for Terra Star X add-on for digital elevation measurement. The satellite will fly in close formation with the Terra Star X spacecraft to gather precise elevation data. And of course, we have more launches coming up this week, so stay tuned to spacefigcast.com and twitter.com slash spacefigcast for our live coverage of what we can get our hands on and more awesome launch videos.